Y'all know what? I am mad at y'all. My subbies. I am mad at y'all. Know why? Because on the last video, you know the one where um is he holding her hostage? I was telling y'all that, you know, his wife was missing for three weeks. I didn't see her for three weeks. Well, yeah, now it's going on four weeks, so. It was going on four weeks, so. Which is a month. It's a long time for me not to see her, so. I got fed up. First of all, y'all told me on the last video, my subbies. Y'all told me either call the police and then some of y'all told me if um to go and ask him basically confront him and ask him you know how his wife is doing I haven't seen her in a while blah 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 and what's going on So this morning I got fed up with the situation I kept on seeing him, but no trace of his wife. So, what I did was this morning, I did. I went and confront him. I had my cell phone in my hand. I was shaking. And I went to the door and knocked on the door. And he answered the door. And this is why I'm mad at y'all. He answered the door and I said, you know, standing there shaking with my cell phone in my hand. And I said, um, yeah, you know, I haven't seen your wife in like three weeks now, basically a month. And I was just concerned, you know, what's going on with her? Is she okay? This is why I'm mad at y'all subbies, okay? After that, this man had the audacity to pull me in the house. He pulled me in the house, and as he was pulling me in the house, I was trying to get my cell phone and dial 911. He knocked my cell phone out of my hand. He knocked my cell phone out of my hand, pulled me in the house, and grabbed me by my neck, basically. Like this. And said, stay out of our business. Do not ask anything about me or my wife. And if you do ever again, you're going to end up just like my wife. I was afraid of my life. I didn't know what the heck to do. And all I could think about at the time was, oh no, what did my subbies get me into? They told me to ask him. And yeah, I thought that would have been a good idea too, but after that, I was afraid of my life. So I was in the house. After he said, stay out of my business. Don't worry about what's going on over here. Don't worry about my wife. Don't worry about me. You go back over there and you worry about what's going on in your house. Don't you worry about ever again what's going on over here. Are you going to end up just like my wife? You're going to end up exactly where my wife ended up at. So you know what I did? I got up and I went running out of that house and I came running back over here home and I kept my mouth closed after that I didn't say a thing I did not call the cops basically I just came here to make this video I didn't call the cops or nothing why because I'm afraid
Now, me, I'm going to have to move. I'm going to have to move and get up out of here. Because some creepy stuff is going on over there. And now, y'all got me involved in it. Y'all got me involved in some creepy stuff that I don't want to be a part of. That's why I'm mad at y'all. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. But anyway. <laughs> but for real. Okay, so. I got the real scoop of what's going on with his wife. And the real thing that's going on with his wife it is. The other, a few days ago when I was on my way leaving home. A bus pulled up and his wife got off the bus and she had on a work uniform so I was like okay there's the reason I haven't been seeing his wife it's because she has a job now and I guess she's been working all day long and that's why I don't see her anymore. And the reason that he's home all the time is maybe because he lost his job. Okay? Because one time, like I told you in the first video, I, um, in the daytime he would be at work. So now I only see him in the daytime at the house. So I'm assuming that he's lost his job or quit his job, whatever. And now she's working. I told you guys I would find out. So that's the real reason. The that's the real reason why I haven't been seeing his wife. Hmm. Okay. So that's the reason. Thanks so much, angels, and don't forget to like, share, and comment, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.